Hi, William Ash. Is this a great hotel or what? Go, Barky! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> he's awesome. So you never told me your name. I know. Funny. I like that. Can I buy you another drink? No, thanks. Yeah, you can never be too careful. See, that's what I learn every day in my job. See, I'm an actor. I'm in town for a movie audition, right? See, back home I did some theater and people told me I should be an actor and that's what I want to be, an actor. So what do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Maybe you should buy me the drink. You see, I saw this ad in the newspaper and there's this movie, they're looking for actors and there's one about my age. And in my head I say, William, because that's my name, I say, William, this could be your big break. And a good actor always listens to, the, you know, the voices in his head. Just think about it. William H. Ash. Kind of like William H. Macy. Oh, what a great actor. See, we actors know when something feels right. William H. Ash. William H. Macy? That's a sign. See, my mom, she believes in signs, right? Now, I know most people might think that's a little crazy, but my mom, you know, she saw the sign that one day I'm going to make it big. What did she see? Well, I don't know. I, I really wasn't listening when she said it. But, you know, a sign's a sign, right? Anyway, she always says that when I, when I become a big actor and move out, she's going to get tours of my bedroom and tell everybody, that's for my son. William Ash used to memorize his lines. You still live with your mother? See, I started acting when I was in college, right? That's where I got my start. But I didn't actually get my degree, though. <laughs> What's a piece of paper? Let me tell you something. Tom Cruise never even graduated from high school. And look at him. See, that's the kind of important stuff that we actors need to know. Makes you wonder why you guys are still in college, right? Huh? Am I right? <laughs> when the bug bites, you see, it bites hard. I ain't come from nowhere, right? I just knew I was born to be in this movie. See, that's why as an actor, I had to come all the way here. Kill audition. I see. An actor, huh? Yep. You know, that's just something I don't think I could ever do. Pretend to be something I'm not. Really? Just takes practice. So it would seem. You'll have to excuse me. I have some business I have to attend to. We'll have to finish this conversation another time. Uh, sure. When and where? My room. 9 p.m. sharp. Uh, uh, do you have a pen? <laughs> Silly, you're an actor. Surely you can remember room 714. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. What's your name? Veronica. Malone. I'm an actor here in town uh, for a movie audition, and I'm looking for a guest. She's really attractive. What's her name, sir? Veronica Malone. Yes, we do have someone under that name. Would you like me to call up to her room? No, 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 that, that's all right. I've already been invited up. OK, but it's against policy to give out room numbers. I'll have to call up and see if she's expecting you. Well, no, 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 that, that's all right. See, I already know her room number, and she invited me up, and she's hot. Get what I'm saying? 
Then why are you asking me for her room number? Sir, there are red flags flying up all over the place. I'm calling security. No, wait, no. Don't call security. Uh, 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 come on, let me explain. <laughs> She's so hot. Oh, I can't wait. This story shall the good man teach his son. And Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by for this day to the end of the world we in it shall be You know what they say, uh, early bird uh, gets the worm, so. How you doing? Good yeah. Just, uh, sit down. Uh, how's it? So, uh, you want me to take my... Shirt off. Buy this guy? I'll make it up. Front desk clerk pegs this guy asking about the victim. Don't tell surveillance cameras in the lobby confirm it. I don't know. The victim's boss said she was only in town for a legal conference. No sign of forced entry. No sign of rape. It, it doesn't seem to make any sense. Well, hotel bellman says this guy about knocked him over in the hallway as he was leaving the scene. Look, Drake. I'm not saying he's not the guy or nothing, but some kind of motive would be nice. I, that's all I'm saying. How long till the autopsy's in? Well, it's been pretty productive out there tonight. A little while. A little while? All the advances in medical science, we still gotta wait a little while? What the hell is with you tonight? I mean, you got somewhere better to be? Well, can we place him anywhere in that time frame? Well, we got surveillance from inside the elevator. We got him riding up to the victim's floor just before and riding down from it just after. Well, that's enough for an arrest. Oh, I'm still not sold. I mean, we still don't got a weapon. <laughs> Do you really think he's dangerous? See, I I've never been arrested before. But maybe this is good, right? You know, down on their luck, actors always say they can never get arrested. Well, I'm an actor, and I just got arrested. Uh, that's got to be something. It's a sign, man. Oh, it's not racist if I call you man, is it? Anyway, 
Jail is a miserable place. That must make me pretty miserable. I wish we had a mirror in here so I could see what I look like miserable. See, I don't know how to recreate my miserable look if I don't know what it looks like. You know, it's me. You're Hollywood. Time for your phone call. Thank you, man. Mom? No, it's William. I know it's late. No, the audition isn't until tomorrow. I know. I, thanks. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I, I found it right where you left it, Mom. I, I promise. I, I've been eating good. I, no, it, everything's fine. I, I'm having a blast. Mom? Mom, I gotta go. Oh, I just wanted to check in. Okay. I love you too. Tops report and the Tulsa Brown State to prove that Ron Gamalone died before your arrival. Congratulations. You're free to go. Monica? Veronica! Veronica! Oh my god! I thought you were dead! You wouldn't believe that I had. They put me in jail. They thought I had killed you, right? How could I kill you when you're standing right here in front of me? Circumstantial evidence. You're always going to get on. Just not with me. Why weren't you there? Honestly? We band of brothers, for he today that shall. What the hell is that? Some kind of Shakespeare? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, well, I'm gonna ask you to go right to the script. You get a good look? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is William. All right, whatever. Um, Melissa over here is gonna read Lana. So just take, just deliver to the camera and take it when you're ready. Lana, what are you doing here in my room? I thought maybe I heard the killer and I got really scared. You impetuous fool, what if you had been killed? But I wasn't, Dan, I really wasn't. I didn't really hear the killer, Dan, I just wanted to be with you. Oh, Lana, I don't know what I would have done if I'd lost you. We've lost eight campers this week, but by God, as long as I'm here, we're not gonna lose a ninth. Oh, Dan, I'm so scared, hold me. Maybe, I'll do more. Oh, uh, okay. Very, uh, very nice. 
So you're from Ohio? Yeah, born at Coshocton County Memorial. Been there ever since. So you, so you came here just for the audition? Well, yeah, I figured it'd be smart to stay where the auditions are held. I mean, who knew it'd be at a hotel, right? Don't you think you're a little too old to be playing a teenager? Oh, well, see, that's where being an actor makes a difference. Goldie Hawn's like 100, and she plays younger people. That's a sign, right? We'll call you for interested. I just, I got out. What? Outside. Oh, fantastic. No, they offered it to me on the spot, see? But I just had to turn it down. You know, the part, it just wasn't me. No, it's OK, Mom. I'll, I'll find something else. I guess I'll just come home. Uh, Maybe I'll be a detective? That's kind of cool. Mom, did you hear that? Did you hear it? It's a sign. No, no, it's a sign. I, I had a sign. That's what I've got to do. I've got to come home, and I'm going to be a detective. Yes! I'm going to go to the police academy, and I'm gonna take the lessons, and I'm gonna get a gun. I'll make you proud, Mom. No. That's because I'm William Ash. And I'm gonna be a detective. And a good detective always listens to the voices in his head. Because I had a sign. That's what the voices in my head told me to do. Right, no, I can come home, I'll take the classes, then I'll get the gun, and I'll get the body armor, Handcuffs and baton, and I can whack people with them. Oh, and you know that show we like to watch? The, the, the cop drama show? You know how they take the bad guys, they throw them in the room, and they interrogate them and beat them up? That'll be me. I can do that. I'll be able to interrogate them. Wouldn't that be great, Mom? I can look out for you, protect the house, keep an eye on things. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Okay, okay, no, don't worry. I can pull out my badge. William Ash, the check. 